go. Hello, everybody. It's been a long, long time. But we are back with episode 42 of the Naturally Funny ENT podcast. How many weeks have been since we shot this one? Nigga, we ain't shot since last month. We ain't shot none this month. Oh, but we was behind and we had some shows we put out and I made it seem like we was up to date, but we wasn't. If you go on YouTube, that shit said a month ago. Everything says Even a month last ago. Show? I thought we had some of those. We didn't shoot none this month because, oh, uh, yeah, and hap- okay, we, I'm fucking up. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm Deronte Jenkins. You can follow me on uh, Instagram at Deronte Jenkins, Facebook Deronte Jenkins, Snapchat, Virgo Rock. Uh, yeah, and that's it. You know me, I'm still the sleaziest sleazeball of them all. You can still follow me at Street Mafia underscore Big underscore Sleazo. NFE underscore Sleaze is my backup page. My Twitter is LBoogie31304. Um, I got something else. I just can't think of the username. But if I remember, I tell y'all. I'm definitely not giving y'all my Facebook. It's my personal I don't and give like a shit. friendly with my people, so I, um... Oh, before we forget, uh like to say happy oh, I... anniversary, one year anniversary to Naturally Funny ENT. Yeah. We behind like a motherfucker. But we about to play. And I can go live on Street Mafia Big, Street Mafia underscore Big underscore Sleazo again, so... They let you out of prison? Yeah. About they time. let me out of prison when I went to the concert. That was a crazy thing, because I wanted to go live during the concert. Right. And I was like, oh, I can't go live. I'm going to have to sit up here and record everything for a certain amount of minutes mm. and then go back. But they let me go live, even though I ain't recorded shit. Y'all don't be watching my fucking live. Maybe because I haven't been on there and y'all haven't seen me. Y'all don't be watching it. Yeah. I be doing some arrogant shit. Y'all just don't be paying attention. Yeah. Then I delete it if I ain't got no viewers. So, like, start watching our shit. Even when I was going live on Naturally Funny page, y'all went, watch our shit. It's well, it's well worth it. We are Starting one of the best it, podcasts man. in the world. And I don't know cocky shit. I mean it because we're ain't no fake shit over here. Not knocking nobody, but I'm just saying. It's all genuine over here. But anyway, uh, first topic, Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. It was this weekend. Y'all seen what happened. Yeah, dog would a Jake Paul easy to beat. He easy to beat. He can box, but easy to beat. He can't. He can't fight backwards. That's when dog had the yeah. the best chance to beat him when he was walking his ass I, down. I think and he wasn't throwing enough punches too. I think the thing is that we hate Jake Paul because I don't he, hate him. No, no, I'm saying I'm just saying it's the consensus of America. They hate Jake Paul because he's so cocky, but. This only his third fight, and he fourth. went. Yeah, four. I thought it was fourth. It was no, fourth. it might be fifth because he four and zero. Now he five and zero. Yep. He fought Floyd, Tyron Woodley. He didn't Dave fight Robinson. Floyd. Oh, who fought? That was his brother. His brother fought Floyd. It was Logan. He fought Logan, and I, I thought I thought he fought Jay. Logan Paul. He fought Logan. That's the brother. So he fought Nate Robinson, Tyron Woodley. The other dude, um, I forgot dog. The other name. dude that was a UFC. actually a profe- another UFC and then he fought but, a professional boxer. I think, I think he's 4 0, 5 0. I think he's 4 0. Yeah, I think it's just because he's cocky. Then, you know, it is a lot of people saying that they paying people to get in the ring and lose to him um, to try to bolster his career. So. He going to run into the right motherfucker. I wish. He retired. Who? He did. Fuck, he gonna retire before? See, that's why I want to get he monetized. Retired today. Cause we get enough viewers and shit, then I get a little notoriety. I'll be able to box some of these motherfuckers. But I got hands too. I don't he, get it twisted. He retired. I'm with all the shit. I say something he put on there today. He retired. I hope not. <sighs> Cause I know I gotta get. My... I think he had three professional fights and one exposition fight, and that's why he four and zero. But the you know the exposition kind of fight don't really count. Cause it's not yeah, dude. Floyd fight. fought one. I think that should count. No, it don't count. There wasn't a winner in the Logan Paul Floyd fight. Mm. They just fought for the money. Mm. That's all. So I think that's what his record is. All this shit is a money grab. It's supposed to be shit. Money grab. Learn how to fucking manipulate the sport to your fucking liking to where you can monetize and make money off of it. That's 
What you supposed to do? True. I got a question for you. Have you been keeping up with the WAC 100 and the 21 Savage and that nigga with the uh, different color with the rainbow hair? I'm not going to say his name. I caught you. Said, I don't even I'm, not, I'm not saying that nigga uh, name on here. I'm not doing it. I've seen, I heard the clubhouse arguments. Mm hmm. Um, I done heard Wack argue with a few other people on Clubhouse. That's you. I'm talking about yeah. the 21 Savage. No, no, shit. that's. I mean, this all. That's all that's combined into the same thing. I ain't just ranting out, but I seen Wack talking to a few people. Um, I don't agree with Wack, bro. Me neither. I feel like you're just trying to get your podcast popping or whatever you got going on popping to keep your name alive because you wasn't really being talked about. I think that sucky shit. Um. With you being a big homie or wherever, well, I don't know, this report's coming back that you ain't even saying, you ain't even really from where you're from. Mm -hmm. So I can't even, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I've I, been seeing a bunch of shit that says that you might have been that nigga in jail because you was big, nigga, but I've been saying that you ain't even really from the set you say you from, you ain't been part of L.A. you from, you ain't even from L.A., you from... One of them nice counties where they was just gang banging because it got out there because it was heavy. I don't know. I ain't from L.A. I ain't going to take no credibility away from you, but the shit you doing is sucking shit. Like, I don't even know. You probably don't even watch this podcast and can care less what I got to say, but it's sucking shit, bro. Like, you can't condone what that man does. Y'all keep calling him a civilian. You, he, he was no longer a civilian when he paid somebody to go kill somebody. Right. So... I don't agree with it. He and I don't care about the circumstances. Then you got Shadi. I seen the interview with Shadi, a little clip with Shadi. Shadi said he didn't hit that man, that man, baby mama. He using that to manipulate us, which I can believe because six nine knows ways of manipulation. Like that shit, goofy that he get on the internet. Like I think All Star Jr. said it on Instagram yesterday. You know how dumb you look to get all mean and tough and then get on your phone and be yelling at your phone and ain't nobody on the other end? <laughs> like, because if you did that to me, I'm going to forward it to the run tag, to him to forward it to some other people, and we going to laugh at you being a goofy. But this new generation of where people get, I mean, like, I don't know. Like, people want to embrace your street life, but then when it's, when, well, when they get caught get up in shit, it, they, they, Turn you know bitch. Saying? Like, That's we, all we call all these other rappers bitches, or niggas call these other rappers bitches because they don't do what they say they do in their music, this, that, and the other, whatever. At the end of the day, music is a form of entertainment. It and, is. And, and if um, music is a form of entertainment, and if I can tell a story of somebody else in the street better than they can tell it, or I sound better on a beat than they do, and I can write it out and make it sound good and rap it, then... I mean, that's just the game. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of rappers get that shit rough for them. So we don't know if the guy writing their raps is a super tough dude or if he just know how to put words together. So... Did you hear the way... I don't take away from the rappers. I take away from... You can't... These niggas in the... Sp I, I had a homeboy. Let me tell you. I didn't mean to cut you off. But we argued about the dirt shit when Vine died. And he was like, it's time for Dirk to slap. Who won't want? But what niggas fail to realize is Dirk is the bad. He is the reason why all them other niggas is in position to get money. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he might be out here in the street. Or he might have a rep for in the street, but it don't got shit to do with... Um, he he, the money. I'm not about to... You know what I'm saying? When you become a millionaire like that, you gotta you either pay somebody or there's some niggas out there that's gonna do it, some gone niggas in the street. You can't be the bag and be the muscle. Like, it don't make sense. But no, I don't fuck with Doggy Ball. I don't agree with none of that Dog, shit. the funniest shit when Wack and, well, he was going off talking about fighting Dog, fighting 21 Savage and colored hair in the background. Yeah, Wack, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. Yeah, that was weak as hell. I'm like, what in the hell? You know what that shit remind me of? That shit was weak as hell. You know what that shit remind me of? Remember yeah. when we was younger? And you have a whole ass nigga talking big shit mm. and he's soft as fuck until his cousin come over. Or a nigga that do shit like, yeah, what's up now? What's up now? But you wasn't doing that shit when you was by yourself. That nigga, that nigga sucker, dog. I, I couldn't do it. I, I'm mad as hell that that shit happened a couple weeks I'm ago. I'm glad we talked about that. But Million Dollar uh, Worth of Game, Gillian them had 21 Savage on that shit recently. And he addressed that shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's nothing that need to be addressed. I feel like just don't say nothing. 
at this point because if you say anything to him or about the situation or about whack or anybody else um how can i say this you giving him a reason to say something to you and keep his name popping right. we hadn't heard about 69 for months right. upon months upon months you hear what i'm saying as soon as Wack get him on the show, now it's the whole circus show again. You know what I'm saying? Dirk don't feed into his energy no more. So he don't really got time. He don't really got nothing to say with Argue really with the got... nigga. The nigga ain't trying to score up with nobody and none of that shit. So he just talking shit because he protected. Yeah. That's all that shit is. He says shit um, I want to think. And it makes sense to me that he said, and it's probably one of the smartest things he said. Pop Smoke get killed. XX, Triple XX got killed. They didn't have security, but we, we and then when they died at first, this is the realest shit he probably ever said to come out of his red ass mouth. But he said they didn't have security, and they got killed. But the first thing that people say when they die is, "Why the fuck he ain't have security with him? Why ain't he riding around with the money? He ain't got nobody to watch him, nobody with the gun." But I think but when six nine got security, he always got his security. We called him a bitch. But see, I think the difference between that is them niggas ain't going around running their mouth talking shit. To everybody, and he is. I don't think Pop Smoke got killed by somebody he knew. No, they said it wasn't nobody knew. It was just random niggas in California robbing houses. He put himself on the internet and said he was in the Airbnb with no security, all on live, and them niggas pinpointed the crib, probably watched it, seen he wasn't in there, went in there, and they popped it. Yeah. He ain't the first. It was, it was, it was a, the dude, the, the group of people that they got, because they got everybody that murdered him now. They got the whole group of people. It was just a group of niggas that was in that area. Of California doing B and E's, he just so happened to be in the house when they did his, and that's how that shit happened. Cause members they they robbed they the same it was some niggas that broke in the Soldier Boy house, but even though one of them was his homeboys, but that's what them niggas do out there in Cali to be and E and, and Casablanca and all that shit. That's the game. These young rappers have all this money. They go out there, they get them Airbnbs and uh uh. I would say, it's, oh, oh, no, no, no. Somebody told me his man's killed and one of the niggas was his man. I told you. Yeah, but they, I mean, but they still was out there robbing houses. No, but what I'm saying is it don't matter if you got, it ain't about security. When you hanging around the wrong motherfuckers, that's like us. We grew up with certain motherfuckers, right? Certain niggas that I grew up with, I don't fucking trust. I say, right, I mean that shit. I don't trust. That's how come I never got off into the shit that was in bright mode because nigga would have had to go. Simple as that. I seen a nigga fold on, well, you probably don't remember niggas, but you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker wasn't no street nigga, none of that shit. This nigga can't even come out the fucking yard. You understand? He went to karate class. I ain't going to mention the nigga name. But, but he got out, and he his mama finally let him out the damn yard. Like, this nigga was really fenced in the yard. Yeah. He came out like shit right be as, as a teenager. You know what I'm saying? And start being in the street. I told him niggas, watch that nigga. He ain't about none of that shit. He, you know what I'm saying? And shit, some shit happened, and he ended up telling. I mean, I think it's 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 the situation. Everybody ain't built for them situations, right? Like, and it, but you don't know that. I admit, listen, you I can't. Didn't... I mean, with a lot of people, you can't really tell, or you don't know that until they get put in that situation. Motherfucker, be loyal to the dirt to you, shit. and don't do nothing wrong. Shit. Or in your eye, you be like, damn, this nigga been down with me, ride me, won't, won't. But when he get put in that situation, it's like, oh, you facing this time, you gonna be away from your family, this, that, and the other. That's when niggas start to bitch up. A nigga be super loyal to it in the street, but when the police come around, that's when niggas like, bitch up. Like dog, like like bro. I ain't gotta say no, like bro. We, we fucked up right now. I leave it at that. He would've told if anything would've fucking happened. If we would've been doing some shit, he would've told. Oh, dog, who? You talking about at the crib? The, the, I'm, the, the, I can't the, say that though. For him, I can honestly say I can't say that for him because he I'm not talking about him. Who you talking about? I'm talking about the nigga we grew up with. I ain't talking about that goofy what ass nigga. Nigga that's fucked up. Oh. Yeah. He would have told. Yeah, but we knew that as little kids. No, he, I knew as we got older, me yeah, and me and him you, was like this. You could, and he started doing weird you shit. You could kind of see that in him when we was young, though, because I I know when a motherfucker can't hold water. When we was younger, this is how you could tell if a motherfucker can't hold water or something when we was younger. It was something new. The way they acted in school, bro. If a nigga told when we got in trouble, <laughs> them was the niggas I knew. You can't, you can if you I can't trust you in school to tell the teacher I wasn't talking. I ain't going to trust you in front of the police. It was little shit like that that made me see a lot of niggas in school. Like, oh, nigga, tell. Nigga, tell. Shit like that. 
I just, but I knew, and that's our man, but just from the way he moved, he wouldn't have been able to. And, and you know what's crazy? I don't crazy? think he wouldn't have made it in the streets. It's, like it's not there. just him. It's somebody else, too. Mm-hmm. With that one situation with them fucking females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, that's, I don't know. No, it, it, I mean, it but is. I never, at this know, point, you got, you got, you got a, you got a, you got a better hand. You got a better, I'm saying hand. You got a better take on that than I do because of certain situations that y'all have been through that made y'all You can see the shit. But I ain't as close as with dog. I ain't close with the nigga no more either. At was, We was. That was like my brother. But he said the same shit he did to you, that same shit you called, that that shit right there, that shit right there, that's, come on, man. Yeah, that was goofy. Then you pop up, like to me, you fishing. And I ain't seen a nigga since. Like, it is what it is. Goofy. Hey, fuck that shit. Um, It is what it is. I, we was talking about what you call it. I forgot, but I wanted to talk about the cancel culture and um, <laughs> freedom of speech not being freedom free. of speech and stuff. Um, I mean, let's all go back to the baby, but we can go back to other people that have been canceled: Daniel Caesar, Chris L. Michelle. Uh, the hell happened to her? They remember they canceled her because she sung at Trump inauguration, but it was somebody else up there. Where we didn't cancel Kanye when he was. You know what I'm saying? He was Trump heavy. We didn't cancel Lil Wayne, Kodak Black, none of these guys. It's like, mm. the cancel culture to me, I feel like it's some sucky shit. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you taking out of these people mouths. Like, we, even with the baby situation, though, we, we, like, we, a lot of niggas that listen to rap, majority, I mean, he didn't outside, say nothing wrong. In my outside eyes. of white people that's vulturing the, the culture, um, we come from places where you don't be politically correct, and we can say what the fuck we want to say, and that's just the way it is. I don't think he said nothing wrong. No. I've been hearing DJs, party concerts, wherever I've been, clubs. I hear motherfuckers, put your hands up, you go HIV, put your hands up, you. So that shit is is something that's been being said, that's been being said for years upon years. Um, and I'm not offending nobody when I say this, but I'm just gonna say this. I feel like the LBGQT community controls what goes on in the culture. Uh, not just the culture of hip-hop, but just the culture, period. Because if you disrespect them, you could lose your whole livelihood. You're not even disrespecting if you have an opinion on it. Yeah, you can lose your whole livelihood. But what I don't understand is why, but, why you can't have an opinion on them, but they can have an opinion on straight us. people. That's like Make Boosie. the shit make sense. I was listening to Boosie. Um, Breakfast Club. No, not even Bruce Lee. He was on I listened to his album. He got a song on there talking about the situation. And it's like it's like he say, he kind of feel like it's kind of wrong to be straight in this day and age. Like yep. the way we probably talked about look or I ain't gonna say we, but just the way our our age groups or whatever we from different eras. Right. The way we might have thought it was like cool to talk about uh gay people or say things about gay people or use the word faggot. Or, or when you, those derogatory terms right. that people use towards gay people, you can't say that now. But right. I feel like it's going to be in 10, 15 years, if you say you straight, niggas going to laugh at you. Look at those straight ass niggas. But you know what? Nigga like crazy? girls. Like that's what it's going to end up being in a, right. in a while because I just feel like they got. But you know what? Gay people say the F word a lot. Yeah, but they say it to each other. And but what I'm saying is, why the fuck you said That's like a female when they get mad when you say bitch, when you call them a bitch. But they sit up and call each other bitches all day. It's just fucking confusing as hell. That shit is confusing at the end of the day. Yeah, I learned that. And yeah. times is so different. Everybody's sensitive as hell. I'm watching, I watched uh, the Chappelle show. And I'm like, dog, they would have crucified this nigga if this shit was on now. But that shit is classic. Not just that. You would have had people like... Um, in living color, same shit. All the shit we grew up on, we can't. I don't know, dog. Like with this podcast and shit. Bernie Mac would have been canceled, of course. The old day Chappelle would have been canceled, right? Um, D.L. Hughley definitely would have been canceled. Oh yeah. Um, everybody that did comedy in our era, talent. Right? Uh, yeah. So. Even Richard Pryor, one of the greats, we would have, you know what I'm saying? He talked about that shit. Red Fox. Red Fox. It's just, it's to the point now where. You can't say shit. Yeah. Like, I, 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 
Okay, I just don't should. say too much about y'all because I'll be not to say that I want to talk about y'all, but I feel like I should be able to say what I want to say. As long as it's not disrespectful, you should be able to voice your opinion as long as it's not disrespectful. And that goes for every fucking body. But at the times, it's different. The times is different, dog. The time, the times is different and motherfuckers is weird. It's hell. Yeah. Like, I got my, my Ron said be nine next month. Well, this month over with. Ron said be nine next month. By the time he get old enough to date, dog gonna have to ask for motherfucking birth certificates. You can't ask no motherfucker for their number and all that shit because you fucking around and take, take something home and goddamn dick be bigger than yours. You in a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I don't even want to do that. Um. <laughs> in a whole um, heap of trouble. On another note. Shit. <laughs> I ain't saying I ain't a fan I'm just saying in the next, by, he be nine. In the next 10, 9, 10 years when he start dating, he going to have to ask that question. Shit, hell, we go out, you got to ask questions. You fucking around and thinking you see a balls. You think if a female got a fat ass coochie, that's motherfucking balls and cock. I think I don't hang in no areas where I'm gonna run into that. You don't, but you not good. know what it is. I'm so what I'm saying is not no Highland Park shit. You got motherfuckers walking around like that. Yeah, but I, I, you, I, I can and they, tell and the they look like women, and they look like women. I didn't. I think I can tell the difference now. I didn't. Shit. I didn't. Like fucking women. And I'm gonna tell you, I think I can tell Shit. the difference now because I didn't see, like, you talking about Island Park. I got people at HP, so I be through there a little bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? We hang out there, not saying that I be on what we're watching the trannies and shit like that. Or I be buying by Menzos no, and that shit. Like, what trannies? That's what they are. No. Transsexuals. Or, or no, it's transgenders and transsexual. I can see it. Man, that's the get. All right. You can't say that, bro. <laughs> but that's not derogatory. That's though. not a derogatory term. Actually, it is. Since when? It's always been. Ever since, I'm telling you, one of my one of my friends literally got almost got he got banned from a tournament because he said that word. Oh shit. Well, we apologize. Um, uh, uh, what, 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 what is it? I'm not apologizing for saying we're apologizing nicknames. For y'all. <laughs> I'm not apologizing for saying y'all nicknames. Hey, listen. Y'all just, call uh, us straighties. Just, I mean, ble- just, just bleep that shit out so we won't get in trouble. I didn't know. No, I, I know. Yeah, I'm just That's crazy. Yeah. You see, you know, you can't say shit. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, they, you can't say, like, they take that word as a Okay, word. so answer this question for me, right? So... If That's I see crazy. a group of transsexuals, I can't be like, there go a group of trainees. I got to be like, there go a group of trans people. That's what I got to say. say. I can't sure. I can't slang it up. No. Nah. But they can. Yeah. That's not. No, oh, that ain't fair. You, I know it ain't. That ain't fair. It's life, dog. It, it goes fair. back to what I said. Freedom fair. of speech is not free. That ain't fair. You can't, yeah, you can't. So you, it's not free at so all. So you can't be a comedian. You might as well not be a comedian no more. I watch Carlos Miller. He talk about gay people all the time. That nigga is fucking hilarious. That nigga don't I didn't realize that. He funny as hell. He talk about gay people all the Shout time. Shout out to 85 South. I know y'all don't know us, but that's y'all doing some y'all doing some big things. We trying to follow in y'all footsteps. Even though I ain't no follower type nigga. I'm, I'm going to leave y'all alone. The nigga's uh, hilarious. Community. I want to say. You said community? Can we pray <laughs> for the people in Louisiana? Hurricane. Yeah, Hurricane I know. Hit Sunday. The whole it's a bunch of people without power, um, food, flooding, shit going on. <laughs> um, yeah, man. <laughs> Dang, it wasn't about? it wasn't no hurricane, man. No, I'm talking about the rain. Who are you talking? No, about? no, you it's you wouldn't you would have to yeah. It's inside. <laughs> it was the wrong time. It definitely. <laughs> That was definitely just the wrong time for both of y'all to make oh, a joke. Oh God! As I was oh, getting to a serious subject, and then y'all made a joke. No, it's about it. it's. Yeah. No, I, but you made a joke. I was going to. I was. <laughs> I, was in, I was really being serious, and you made a joke. But uh, yeah, they got hit with a hurricane. It was Category Four, I think. There was tropical storm, but it took a lot of trees. There was a lot of people down there. It's probably oh, displaced again, and it was on the anniversary of. Hurricane Katrina. Damn. So let's pray for those people down there. Uh, hopefully they be. If y'all do call for people to come down there and help fix up the city, and do stuff like that, I will be one of. And the I first. wasn't laughing at the hurricane. 
I'll be one of the first to uh, volunteer. Let's pray for Haiti. They got hit with a tribal storm, earthquake, all that. Again? Um, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, we, yeah, we, we behind. I forgot, show, so right. Yeah, yeah we so behind. let's pray like for them. Uh, Lebanon, some stuff happened there. I'm not too sure on what it was. I can't remember. I had wrote these notes while we were just going through the weeks. But something happened in Lebanon, and I'm telling you all, I pray for them. And let's also pray for the people of Afghanistan. The Taliban is now in control. Is... The U.S. troops are withdrawing after 20 years. Um, that shit is weird to me. Honestly, to me... And you serve. So. I'm military, so I'm going to tell you how I feel. And, I mean, if y'all don't agree with me, y'all don't agree with me. First of all, I feel like I wasted my motherfucking time because I've been to Afghanistan a few times. Can I cut you off right quick? Look. Now, remember we had a discussion about 10 years ago, and no, I, I said, and man, you, and you argue with me about that shit? No, no, I'm telling you why I feel like I wasted my time. It's not because I went over there. I feel like the president that people elected, because I didn't vote for him. I, y'all know who I vote for. I've been adamant about who I voted for this whole time. I ain't changed up, switched to nothing. Y'all can feel how y'all want to feel. I feel like we had a real super weak president. I just feel like Biden don't know what to do. Speaking of that. You don't. You give. You take. For 20 years. And there's a lot of people that feel like, oh, the troops should have been home. We shouldn't have been over there fighting. Well, we shouldn't have went over, over there in the first place. But remember, the Taliban did 9-11. So that's the reason we was over there. We never fought the Taliban, supposedly. And I'm, I don't know, because I wasn't there. We found Osama bin Laden. We killed him and sent him out to sea, which I don't know why we sent him straight out to sea. And... We didn't see the body, whatever, they burnt it, whatever. But we never completed the mission in Afghanistan. That was to dethrone the Taliban. What about the weapons of mass destruction? That was, <laughs> that was Iraq. Totally different country. Yeah, whatever. Um, Man, you in trouble again? No, it's just not going. It's not. It's fucking up because I ain't got no signal in here. Uh, um, yeah, I, I can get on IG, but not Facebook. No, you got Wi-Fi. Um, I, no, every time we come here, I have to log back in. Oh shit! Every time I know. Oh, what the hell she doing? Uh, where was I? Yeah, I feel like I wasted my time when I was there fighting for a reason. We actually had a reason to uh, to Afghanistan, right. Iraq, not so much. We never found weapons of mass destruction, but we did need to relinquish Saddam Hussein to power. He was a threat to the U.S., so I can understand that. Sometimes y'all don't know from the outside looking in what the military attacked the country for. Saddam Hussein was a threat to America. <laughs> dictatorship we don't know if he still was alive now would he had to put something together to try to come attack us or anything like that uh i feel like joe biden could do so much more bro than just take the troops out of there the way he did he evacuated everybody at one time if our goal was to go over there and fight a war and liberate the people of yeah. afghanistan we did a <laughs> terrible job by letting the ta taliban take back over um and do what the fuck they want to do so i mean i hope then we got marines killed in this mess because you just pull the marines out uh salute to those brothers in the uh, first battalion eight marines the one that those i believe is 11 or 13 people that got killed over there um it's just this wasn't strategically put together um i feel like america ain't got the nuts they used to have no more with biden as president you never put your head down and, and tuck feel your tail. disgusted and tuck your tail in front of your country. It's your country. Whether you a puppet or not, for somebody else that's running the country, you still is the 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 face of our country that appears to be our leader and you you look weak right now. I know he I was in uh I was in Warren a couple of days ago going to get gas on uh on eleven mile and six ninety six and they was out there protesting, they had a uh, fuck Biden sign. It was a white girl in front of me. She was going to fuck off on there. Like, fuck you, punk bitch. I thought she was talking to me. What the fuck is your problem? Until I looked and seen that. I said, oh, they out here tripping. And the old nigga was walking around with the American flag. Like It was only like three of them. Like, go the fuck home. And I was wondering why the damn police. Actually, I'm sorry. I lied. That wasn't Warren. It was Roseville. Because I kept seeing the damn police going up and down. And they was going up and down to keep people from fucking them up. So they was protected like a motherfucker. I ain't Which about to dive into should. that, but you know what time it is. I mean, but no, even if we protest, we can. We, we ain't gonna get no we police protected. presence no, like they, that. They, when they do the protest downtown, they get police presence. It's just, Man, they was down there fucking people yeah, up. Yeah, but it be the ignorant niggas that go out there no, and they start tackle, with the police. 
I went to a couple uh I, I, but I went to one of the protests last year. Uh, what are you, when they had all, they had last a year? downtown. It was last year. It was a heavy police presence, and it wasn't. It wasn't. A they, bad, they, the they, people that come fuck Detroit up don't be the people from Detroit. Right. No, so, I'm not talking about that part. I got a yeah. homeboy that I work with, white dude. They fucked him up. They body slammed. They did. They ain't body slammed, but they threw his ass to the ground, broke his phone, all what types of shit. He order? didn't do shit. He ain't even that. Is that tight. the story he told you? I know him. Yeah, but were you there? No, but I know him. Yeah, but... I mean, he ain't about to lie. He ain't go down there on no bullshit. I said he's lying, but something could have happened. Dog, you, I done been snatched up by the motherfucking DPD. Not in a protest. We talking about as far as a protest. We, I, 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 males, I, I, we I, understand that that's a whole different subject. But what I'm saying as is, far as the he protest, got snatched up by a black fucking yeah, cop. As far as the protest... And I apologize to him for that shit, because it's a such thing as fucking reverse racism, and that shit go on daily, and don't nobody want to touch that. Me having a white brother, I speak on that kind of shit. I don't... Cause I didn't seen him get fucked with, and I don't, I don't, I don't like that you, shit. You think it's reverse racism? Fuck yeah, it is. I can't call it reverse racism. What you call it? We they weren't a, white people haven't been oppressed like black people for it to be racism. You have uh, the uh, you have to be oppressed. So you the, saying a black person can't be racist towards it can a white be person? It's racist towards a white person, but racist no, because you have to be oppressed in order to be racist. To oh, be racist. Nah. You have to be able to oppress the people under you to be racist. Mm. We can be prejudiced to white people and feel a certain way because of things that have happened to people before us or people in, of color from white people, and that makes us prejudiced towards the white people. Like, I don't fuck with white people because this, this, that, and other. That make, you ain't racist because you don't fuck with them. That make you prejudiced. But being racist, I don't think we can because we can't oppress them. Mm. We can't oppress the system. They got the control to shut a bunch of shit. They in control of a lot of shit. They can shut shit down as racism and fucking fuck us over, black us out, all type of shit. The most we can do is say hateful things to them. Put our hands on them. And go to jail, but they got the power to control way more than that what black people. That shit ain't even worth it. If a motherfucking white person called me, call me the N word right now, I'm not gonna get upset at none of that shit. But I'm gonna educate the fuck out of them. I was just telling somebody this shit at work the other day. I'm swinging. Broke this. I'm not for what? And you you say, got you got these racist motherfuckers that be saying all this bullshit about black for, black folks. This anybody black folks call that. me? Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. For what? For what? You got them same you know, motherfuckers. Me. Them it's same motherfuckers. Them same motherfuckers get tans. They get tans to get colored. Yeah, but they dis you're not gonna disrespect me. I'm not what I'm not gonna take they ignorant one as hell. thing I'm not gonna take. As long as you don't race. invade my space, yeah. you don't invade invade my space, we good. You can say whatever the fuck you want. But if you yeah. come in punching yeah. distance and you want some fuck shit, I'm gonna beat you the fuck up. One thing I'm Simple not gonna that. tolerate from any race, person, human, I don't care what color you want. You can say what you want. Like, you get gonna, checked. Yeah. You can say what you want. No, I'm saying that's your take on this. You can't, I can say, I know I can say what I want is my take. Are you talking about them? Yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah, you were talking, talking to me. Because I had said what I said. But no, I don't take disrespect from nobody verbally, physically, none of that. So if you say something to me out the way, it's gonna be a problem. Don't call me a nigga. I don't care if you black, white, orange, purple. Whatever, if you disrespect if you disrespect me, that's where the problem comes in. What you saying don't bother me. It's you disrespecting me. And if you if you a white nine times out of ten, if a white person called me a nigga, he's saying it in a disrespectful manner. He's not saying it as a term of endearment or he loved me or something. But like I'm gonna tell you this. Working at working at the motherfucking plant, you see all types of walks of life. That I don't like black folks shit. I don't like white folks shit go out the window because there's interest in both. If you see a fucking female like right now, you go, I don't like this white people, yada, yada, yada. You see a fine ass white girl walk past with ass. All that, I don't like them motherfuckers go out the window. And the same goes for them. I done seen some racist motherfuckers at the job watch this fucking black girl with a ass on her. I don't like white girls, so I'm going to keep saying that. I, I like women, on. period. They just don't do nothing for me. I like uh, women, period. No I'm, size too big, I like no size black too small. Queens. That's it. I don't date outside my race, so I wouldn't. I if I notice a white girl with a nice ass, I'm like, she got a nice ass. But it don't entice me. I like I love black women. Like I don't want no other woman in my life but a black woman. I was raised by one, uh, and I wanna die with loving one. I don't give a shit. Yeah, so I that that's not it's just not my take. I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying on people. I just I know. Shit, my my daughter makes all types of shit. I think so. what made me realize it was I experienced some racism firsthand, 
Yeah. We all did. No, no, I'm like like in the South, like some real bad racism while I was in the military. I experienced racism the whole time I was in the military. Huh. Not to mention just being in places in the South where they still races at. Of course. And have I experienced it? Smithville, Whiteville, North Carolina, places I've been pulled up. You said Whoville? Whiteville, North Carolina. Whiteville, that's where you fucked up at. It ain't spelled like that. W H Y T. Something like that, but it actually, Hell, it actually I don't give a white. damn how it's but no, they, it's called they, Whitesville. But they got them, they don't. You know have, what that remind me of? Nigga, shut up. Let me finish my sentence because I'm gonna forget because you keep cutting me off, <laughs> nigga. They don't have a very high um, white population in Whiteville. They got it's, it's mainly Indian, it's just the name of the city. Whiteville was somebody's last name, that's what the city was named after a last name. The um, fuck? but I experienced it from the police down there, I experienced it. First hand with people I work with, I experienced it going to the restaurants down there, all type of shit. So, my, like, I experienced, nigga, 12 years of racism being in the military, just first hand on. I was one of the first black people that some white people that I met in the military had ever seen. So. And you probably changed their perspective no, on No, I didn't uh, change their perspective. I'm gonna tell you, that's why I'm trying to get to the story to tell you. For, I got just. I was with one of my white homeboys that we was cool, won't, whatever. Uh, he lived in the city or whatever. He, I went home with him to go for a little 96. And mm -hmm. I watched somebody that I've been in war with, somebody that watched my six, I watched they six when we was over there. But when we get there and people, white people feel a certain way, act a certain way to me because I'm black, they don't know mm -hmm. who I want. Him revert back to what he know. And as much as we can give them, the, I feel like as much as we can give them a light on us or, or, or enlighten them about us or, or get them education on us, when they confronted with people that was that's, that's, that's different than them or people that they associated with and that they grew up with, that's what they're going to revert back to every time because that's what they know. We can teach them whatever, but they're always going to revert back to what they know because it's first instance. And that's humans, period. Yeah. And they're taught, like, we not taught hate. No. That's the difference. That, and that was something I was you, saying, you, racism. Mm. We not really taught hate. We, we we are taught to be mindful of the police because they don't like white black people. We are taught to be, what? I mean, yeah, the majority of police don't like black people. But we use, we even if it's not. I, I got something people, for that statement. I'm we, to we, are, we are taught to be scared of the police. They not taught to be scared of the police. We are taught, as a black man in America, your first, your interactions with the police are to be limited. That's something that your parents tell you. Don't be out there getting in trouble with the police and this, that, and other. Move your ass go to jail. White people are. I'm not just saying all people are white, but most white people they they want to grow up and be cops. We grew up and despise cops because we've been oppressed by the system. Like I ain't gonna that. lie. I wanted to be a police officer at one point. I thought about it cleaning up the streets, but I knew too many fucking criminals. So I didn't want to do it. I ain't never thought about being a police. I did. Ever. I did. I really did. Ever. I did. Like, but but to go back on that statement you said, but we not taught to hate white folks or we not taught, that's bullshit. Lynn Lynn, you know who Lynn is. Yeah. She, by backwards as hell, used to say she hated white people and all this other shit, but two of her best friends were white, and we actually stayed with them. So her saying that shit is stupid. I, now, just I, say just say that I fed into that shit. But you see what I'm saying? My thing, see, your situation And that shit was, was backwards, Lynn, ass backwards different. as hell. I feel like that situation, she probably excluded them because they was her friends and she grew up with them. She didn't grow I up mean, with them. I mean, when well, she grew up with them, was her friend. So that's probably, she, when she. You she, can't, you can't yeah, have but when friends. She, you can't but say that she, kind of shit. And you got, that's she, like, that's like Big Rick. I can't say I fucking hate white people and I call a dog my brother. You can't do that shit. I, think, I can't say I hate light-skinned motherfuckers and I got a light-skinned fucking baby. And I got a light-skinned homeboy. You, you see what I'm saying? For a long time, though. No, it was my listen. I didn't say listen. I didn't like them on some shit, and somebody and called me out on that shit. No, 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 no. Even when I had, even when she was born, I still felt some type of way about light skinned people. But it was my own oh, fault, and somebody you, called me out on the shit. Like, what's your problem with? Them? And I told them what it was. And they say, well, what's the what's the issue? And I went on Facebook and I addressed it to everybody. I apologized to the whole light skinned community. And I feel like no bullshit. I feel like sometimes we ain't taught it. It's something that happens to us that makes us feel that way. No, I fucked up with the light skin shit. No, that was no my I don't fault. mean light skin. I just mean like with white people. Yeah. I don't think we 
we don't have a disdain or a hate for white people growing up, but it take it all it take is one incident for you to feel that way. Right. Or if I'm gonna tell you, it, it might be some people out there that 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 devolve and really hate white people, but it's probably people that dug into their history and now they feel that way because of the history of how whites have treated us no, going into today. Can't that can make but I'm saying if you we don't know our real history. Like we don't know our history of That's black right. people. It's people that it's on the internet, all that, they devolve and to d d dig into that and go back and try to figure that shit out. And they can feel a certain way right. about whites because of what they learn, the true meaning of, uh, 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 of, of us. Right. Like, the slavery shit, all that. Once you get to digging too deep far in that, seeing how we got took away from our religions and all that other type of stuff. And have it religion can make, forced on you too. And it can make you feel a way about those people yeah. because even with they say oh a lot of kids listen to hip-hop right now it's still a lot of racist young white people it's a lot and the, we don't get mad the first thing i'm gonna tell you this when we get mad at white people and we about to get into it with them the first thing we do we don't say a derogatory term towards them we just get into this we fight them they no, make they, they get, go back we call, they get called niggas yeah, they, they get called niggas. Up quick as hell yeah but that's the first they know that that's the word to burn burn us up and sad. As soon as they get into it with us, the, all they gotta say is you black monkey niggas or something like. And that's and, and that's you, a, and you know how I fuck them up. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, well, my nigga, when I fill out application, I feel like other because my great grandfather was a Cherokee yeah, but idiot. That's well, they, Cherokee Native American. That's but they, look, but not to cut you off. We ain't we on a limited time. No, so. we still got like it's only eleven. We got we shooting for an hour. We, it's eleven minutes, nigga. We still got like twenty minutes, nigga. Oh, cause we still, cause all right, well, fuck all that shit. So we gonna stick on the topic of light skinned people. Steph Curry parents are uh, getting divorced after thirty three years of marriage. I think they should try to work it out, cause thirty three years is a long ass time. I'm gonna tell you something, cause you ain't never been married before. Time don't matter in marriage, bro. Once something go wrong, and it comes to a point where you can't get past it and y'all arguing about it all the time, and it's irritating both of y'all, and y'all getting into it, mm -hmm. there's no getting past it, no matter how many years it is. You, oh, you got to chime in because you've been married too? Come well, on in. But you got to understand, see, you haven't been married yet to be in So a, just because I haven't been married yeah, don't be, mean that I have not not been in no motherfucking no, issues. No, but it's different. So you can't my discredit take. my no, shit. I'm not discrediting it. What I'm telling you is you ain't been married to where you, you've been in relationships, right? I'm going to give you an example. Your current situation, right? Mm -hmm. You and girl got into it, you got the fuck on, right? Mm-hmm. When you married, you can't get the fuck on. You got to stay there and, and keep going through that bullshit. Yep. You can't get the fuck on. You can. You just got to No, you can't. You, no, you are no. obligated illegally on a piece of paper. You can't get the fuck on. And if you get the fuck on, you're going to be paying her for the rest of your life. Who going to be paying who? You are. Nigga, the court's going to make you. you ain't no, are you going to go to jail? You crazy as hell. And I ain't going to fucking jail. It depends if on what kind of woman. No it depends on what kind of woman you dating. No, but if you not what what you mean depend on what time? What I just said. If you getting into it with your wife in marriage, right? Say boom, you cheat, she cheat, right? Just like they got going on at thirty three years. She cheat, you cheat. Obviously, allegedly. No, they cheated. They got caught cheating. Allegedly, they was cheating. Allegedly, they was cheating. No, we gonna allegedly. say they cheating. We you, we ain't shit. We gonna, you we ain't gonna, speaking for me. I ain't allegedly. Trying to speak for you. God I'm damn trying it. To, Hey, listen, you always trying to make your point right. This let me. I'm, I'm not making I'm shit. You talking about table. we. I'm saying I'm, allegedly. Just, That's what I'm it putting, said when I read it. Allegedly. I'm putting a situation on the table, Durante. I'm not saying that you wrong about what you said. You're not even listening to what I'm trying to say before you cut me off. If you've been married for 33 years, if you cheat and the other person cheat, right, allegedly, if they're cheating regardless or not, it's something that's been going on before it got to this point to make you go cheat. It ain't just something new that just happened. Mm -hmm. It's something that's been going on for years, months, days, that get to the point to make you even want to cheat when you marry because you didn't, you didn't bow and did them vows, this, that, and you want to make it try to work. But once you go outside the marriage, nigga, it's over. There's no coming back from that. This ain't the 50s and 60s no more where people sweep it under the world to try to keep their relationship together now. And nowadays, with something fucked up, and you, 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 you had, you had, you got a high-profile couple where where a motherfucker done cheated on his wife, and they swept that shit up under the rug. Who? Who? Come on, Jay Z. 
Allegedly. He allegedly. In your words, he allegedly cheated on her. Well, he made a fucking song I mean, about he it, so that allegedly yeah. shit out the window. Uh, so if he... if Yeah, but they stuck together because they... What you just said don't make sense. You do. just said that no, they I, sweep shit up under... They don't, they we, don't sweep but we they don't, that shit up under... We don't know if they together... But see, when you use... We using high profile, high profile people. See, in that case, it's different because they billionaires. So what we don't know. Do they can be because you can stay together for business. But you just not. said that no, 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 you, no, no, they let me, don't sweep shit I'm up trying under to explain, the rug. Explain what I'm saying. Okay, you, you you use one couple as a as a as an example, right? But you can have a situation like theirs where they swept it under the rug because of business obligations and the money. It ain't always got to be love and faithful. And this, I and this, I'm and going other. off what you said. You I, said I they don't you, sweep the shit up under yeah, the rug. Yeah, I get what you say. You use Jay Z and Beyonce, whatever sweep under. But how often has that happened in the last? Ain't 10 no years? tell them certain people you're not gonna hear that shit about. But if we, you know, it, they pick and choose if you what go, couples. To, if you go off high get. profile breakups over. See, the this last, shit caught me off guard. I should did more motherfucking what's next. I wasn't ready for that. If you go off high profile breakups over the last ten years, outside Beyonce and Jay Z, who swept it under the rug? I would have to do my research on that because it's more than that, and I'm mad about, as hell because I my shit. We we hear about we hear. I it's just when I don't give a fuck when you've been married. It be, it come. You know when the marriage over. You know when it's over and there ain't no coming back from it. You right. know. Right. The communication is fucked up. You start but doing but that's not y'all. necessarily true because you look at my situation, my current situation now. I don't really, I don't, I, I don't. Well, my current situation now. I argue think. like a motherfucker, all types of shit. After being a year gone and shit, being her, you know what I'm saying? We still single or whatever, but every, we didn't have conversations. So it's fucking hope. For any fucking it's body. It's hope for you, but see, the, the bigger picture for y'all is. Y'all and I had to figure some y'all shit out. Y'all didn't put this on yet. Yeah. So that that's still. But we was engaged. Yeah, but I didn't get both of my both of them motherfuckers. Let, 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 let me break it down to you. Here we go. Your your situation is a. How can we say it? A uh, we're gonna talk cell phone contracts. What we call that? Uh, <laughs> At least he he's yeah. He's At least yeah no no no. Nah, if you're doing like a cell phone, uh, well, uh, what's the Boost Mobile contract? What it used to be? It used to be six months. Like, or, no, uh, like it's uh, not, month, month, month to month. Yeah, you yeah. In a, you in a month to month. You're not in a contract where you're not locked in. Okay. Being married, you are locked in. Okay. And you know, unfortunately, and sometimes you could be. Mad at the management, just like a, a player on a team with a contract. Okay, They're not doing leave. the shit that you want to do. And I like, like, no. Except to you see James Harden got the fuck on. Right. I, every time y'all niggas see, come with some shit, I got no. Y'all, you just James brought up Harden a team. No, you just brought up a team. Think, let me fit, but he just he. You're talking but about, did, you're talking about we're talking about famous people here. We're talking yeah. about famous people <sighs> with money. You're it's, talking. We're not talking about people like me and the motherfuckers. Uh, everyday door. Joe Schmo. You can't. You, you can't, just said you something about no. the basketball squad. No, because right? you said something about the contract. I said something about and, when you're managed, and you said you can't leave and you're on the contract, and right? And when you leave, okay, you. Break, but how did James Harden? Okay, leave? okay. Since you, since you want to bring up, contracts, come on with it. Since you want to bring up contracts. Hold on, but how did James Harden leave? Hold on, hold on. He told management no, 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 he didn't no, no, want to no. be there no more. No, no. When you when you break your cell phone contract, don't you got to pay a cancellation fee? Yep. Okay. That's dollars. alimony. So so that's 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 your alimony every month. But it depends on what female no, you fucking no, with. No, if the court say you gotta pay alimony regardless no. of what she said, if the court say you gotta pay alimony, you're paying alimony. So she can so she can't mind, go mind to the judge and tell Mind you, Rante, before you even before you even try to get deeper into this, <laughs> yeah. I've been through this. So We've been to I, both of us are divorcees. You. That's what I'm trying to tell but, you. I don't care. But, but what I'm saying is, you can. It's, I think I, on my, my, I think my you're opinion, basing the character of a person on the situation, and that's why you don't see it the way we see it. I see what y'all saying, but I think it depends on who you fucking with. No, no, it don't no, matter who you fucking matter. with. Like if you on child support, the fucking woman can go and say, "Hey, I want them off." You see yeah, what I'm saying? They so they can't do that shit with the alimony? No. no. Nigga, once you pay it, you pay it. Nigga, yeah. you take care. So of they it. can't tell the judge, no. "I don't want the money." No. no. In certain states, I, I need y'all. I need y'all help. Y'all comment on this shit in, in certain, this segment. In certain states, it's automatic. Thankfully, in Michigan, 
It's not. And I'm going to tell you something you don't know about a nigga like, and I'm going to tell you, and I see this on a regular basis, just trying to work it out shit. In North Carolina, before you get divorced, because I know I was divorced down Legacy there. Legacy counsel? You, no, you have, to, uh, you have to be separated for a year from this person. But during separation, you still are obligated to take care of that person. <laughs> Yeah. And if you don't take care of that person, they're going to find you. Why you You're going to get in trouble for it. Why you so that trying to... I know people that had that year of separation and tried to make it work within that year of separation. That don't do nothing. Did you have to pay yeah. alimony? No. no, I didn't have to pay alimony because we did an uncontested divorce because we just wanted to be through with each other. Oh, what the fuck? Everybody can't do an uncontested divorce. But you... you we didn't have... We you see what I'm saying? No. The shit that I just said, y'all said you're going to have to pay regardless. Who no. You just said I that. I did an uncontested divorce. Kim did an uncontested divorce with me so she can move on with her life because she couldn't do what she wanted to do. Every woman don't have to do an uncontested divorce. Nigga, I had that nigga. We had, nigga. And we I were, know you paid. And we, what I'm saying is you said you're a liar. You're, a liar. you're at liberty to pay fucking alimony. If the judge That's why tells I, you. Exactly. So but you just answered my question. But the judge didn't tell me I had to pay it because we did uncontested. She went in there and said, I want a divorce from this man because... I want a divorce from him. He want a divorce from me. We ain't got shit together. We didn't I, have shit together you, in our name. You, luck, you lucky my mom in law just left because I'd have brought her ass down here. She would have. She would have just. She just shut all your shit down. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, you. I'm just, you. I'm I get what you saying. saying like, like, oh, I, this is this is a topic. Yeah. You, you. You not gonna win. Bro. You can nitpick. I'm not trying it. to win. No, you can nitpick the little shit we saying, but I'm not nitpicking because of what we saying. Thing. It might be the way we wording it wrong. And saying it, but with the alimony, if you... I'm uh, going off what no, you just I'm, said. No, let me tell you. You saying. just said that you had liberty pay. to pay fucking alimony. And he, I asked, you can't... You, you can, he said based on the judge. judge. So you answered my question. The judge. So y'all answered my question. But I've been saying that the whole time. No, the fuck yes, you Yes, I did. I said, if the judge said you got to pay alimony, what did you just sit here and say? I ain't paying no motherfucking alimony. I said, if the not. judge... If the judge say you do, you are. I'm not. Are you going to go to jail? You know, what the fuck ever. Yeah, well, I mean, if you want to go and, drop and, the soap. And you know, and you know what's going to happen? You're crazy as hell. You know what's going to happen? They're going to hold you in contempt. And it's going to fuck your credit they're up. Gonna, they're going to hold you in contempt. They're, they're, they're gonna, you're gonna, gonna, and they're, they're, they're going to charge you with something else gonna, on top of not paying the alimony. You're going to get a quadro put on your 401k. They're going to put a quadro on your 401k where you ain't going to be able to touch none of that shit. you be working where you're working at for the rest of your life. Shit. And when you, okay, okay. It's the legal I'm system we're talking about. I'm telling you, nah, when you get a quadro put, because I've been through this. They gonna get a quadro until she get her shit. Until, what the fuck is a quadro? quadro they gonna put a hold on it. Basically, you can't touch a, your four hundred one k. You can't touch your four hundred one k. You can't dig in it. Oh, there's some pussy. You can't. You it can't ain't no pussy. with your wife. You signed you, the contract. You can't borrow against it. Better read it. the fine print. You can't, you, bar, that bitch. You, can, you can't borrow against it. You can't just take it out. You can't do shit. It's just gonna sit there and stack. So that's you, fucked up. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. So when they put a quadro, so you say you're not gonna pay, they gonna say okay. We gonna hold you contempt. You gotta pay a fine, and you gonna pay some more, and we gonna put a quadro on your four hundred one k. Then you are gonna be like, well, damn. Well, I guess I see. See, we see we record pay. right now because I got something go, for that too. But I'm gonna wait for us. And to then get you off. know what they gonna do? <laughs> Take that, start taking that shit out your check if you then don't you gonna, pay it. Then you are gonna get garnished. Then your check's gonna get garnished. Then they gonna go after you. They gonna go after then you. Your then your taxes gonna get garnished. Your, ta your taxes gonna get garnished, bro. I'm still going through this, bro. So, so you're gonna pay the alimony. So the the best bet is to pay the alimony. I don't like y'all niggas attacking me because because this is what it is. You ain't been married yet, and you still got a hope for marriage, and you still see the good in it. I don't. But we've been through <laughs> the turmoil. No, I had a hope for marriage at this point. I don't give a shit yeah, if but, it happened. It happened. If it see, don't, it don't. We've been through the turmoil. I gave up ten years of my life. I don't just be telling you marriage ain't for everybody. <laughs> Type of shit. But I, was, I was locked in the contract, just wasn't married. Yeah, but, I'll take care of somebody else, marriage, motherfucker. We can do this shit that's all day. That's different, though. That's marriage that's and different. kids that's is two different that's things, different. right? Tell you, you can't compare them. Fucking. You can't compare them. <laughs> shit. You can't compare them. And your heart, being that you got a big heart, it kept you around around them kids because you fell in love with them. You can fall in love with a motherfucker that you marry and fall out of love with them and not want to be with them no more. True. That's and true. that's what happens in marriages. He might not love that lady no more. That's why he cheating. She might not love him. Allegedly, no goddamn. It didn't say nothing. They, they, they accusing he accusing her of cheating with a nigga they used to play with for the uh, New England uh, uh, Patriots. We, Did you see I, that motherfucker? I seen some. I that, hope she ain't gave that nigga no ass. I seen. I seen something to say. I seen that, that dude. I she hope did, she, she didn't. I seen something to say. Not with him. Cheating. It was him, the younger him. He probably looked different. Them white dudes age fast. Though. I don't know what the fuck he is, but, but the way she look, I hope she ain't get that nigga none of that. Being, being God married. Goddamn. When I seen angry. the picture, 
And she said, allegedly, to him. I said, why? Being married why? and then sitting around and because uh, it ain't always about looks. Fuck that. That's something that you gotta learn. You learn as you get older nah, when you be married that. too. It ain't always about looks. No, nah, your uncle said that shit. He don't care as long as it got as long as it got coochie nah, or some shit like that. He said that shit. That I, nasty I ain't, it ain't gonna hell. never be about coochie, but looks ain't always <laughs> the end. Or keep if you you keep if you can go for looks and marry somebody for looks if you want to, you're gonna be pissed off. Cause that's all they gonna be worth is they looks. Are you gonna be able to do is arm candy? That's, that's my okay, I thought it was something. I thought yeah. I heard daddy. You ain't gonna be able to do nothing but arm candy. All right. Well, I went through turmoil for yeah. ten years. I, I, went I don't through know how long you've been married. Yeah, man, the, the marriage topic. You, you just oh, I don't like going to court. I ain't feeling that shit. I mean, and they can kiss my ass. You'll be going. You'll be going back. See, my my shit was different. See, he probably had just had to go in front of a judge and the judge. Said, no, Bat. see, mine was uncontested. This is the reason why my marriage was uncontested. My divorce was uncontested, and that's why it was easy as was it was for me. I moved back to Michigan. She was down there. We were still married, legally married, even mm -hmm. during the separation. When I moved up here, my separation was still intact. We had put the divorce paperwork back in, but because I wasn't down there to go to court. It was just sitting on hold. So I called the letter. I called a judge down there, not a judge, a lawyer down there. Mm -hmm. I said, look, what's the hold up on my divorce? Like, this shit been going on for five years now. Like, right. I ain't even down there no more. Like, we just been separated. You know what I'm saying? This, that, another one. you want? They said, do you want to give her anything? I said, she can have every fucking thing that she got down there now. I don't want nothing but my last name back. She keep everything else. <laughs> she tried to team turn you? No, she was looking at my last name back now. <laughs> that was just something that I put in the contract when we got divorced because I didn't want nothing. She didn't, she got everything. So it wasn't no point for her to say, oh, I want to keep this, I want to keep that, I want to keep this, I want to keep this. I gave you everything. Right. Just give me, let me see my daughter and I'm fine. Right. And that's why it was so easy. My, now, I know niggas like him. Y'all niggas going to you know, have me get a fucking crook in my neck. Look, my ex-wife, it got to the point, she was trying to be so greedy. She was trying to, she tried to take half my 401k. But because I was so smart, I ain't going to tell you what I did on camera. Hell no. But, um, <laughs> and then, see, that's another thing, too, uh, uh, about marriages. So, so I, um, it got to the point where, like, we had to sit in front of a mediator. Mm -hmm. And I had to sit in another room. She had to sit in the room with her lawyer. My lawyer had to go in there and talk to them. And then they come back to me and tell me, this is what she want. Right. Do you agree to this? And I had to tell her, no, this is what I want. Right. And you have to come to, you have to come to an agreement. Right. Have to come to an agreement. Common ground. Yeah. And there, yeah. And let's just say, I, I didn't come. I didn't come out. Yeah, because you stubborn as shit. No, I'm just saying. You know, I, I just knew I wasn't gonna win. You know, certain shit. I knew that. Now with that, with that shit. Now, I'm all for taking care of a motherfucker. I'm not taking. No, care no. Care. Listen, what I'm saying is, if I started off and like this with this shit, right? Whoever I'm fuck with, whoever I'm fucking with, as this shit goes, if this shit start building and you helping me build this motherfucker, and we don't work out, there you go. But if you come along while this shit popping, you not getting a motherfucking thing. That's why you get a prenup. Shit, I get a fuck you. I had oh, somebody that's, kick. That's why you get a prenup. That's why you get a prenup. You get a prenup. Yeah. You can stay in your prenup. Right. Uh, when you came in here, to you, this is what you had. Right. And when you leave, you can stay. When you, if we get a divorce, you don't get shit. Right. Because see, the reason what I was about to say was yeah. something else that that that, that in, yeah, in God here. damn it! Can we get like twenty more minutes, sir? Something else. We ain't even touch every goddamn thing. Something else in marriages that I talked about. I in Twenty minutes. Too. Who? You. Nigga, we was both talking. No, you talked about that goddamn Biden shit. I, I, for three minutes, I watched myself long, watch. That was only three minutes. Yeah, nigga. Goddamn, I, nigga, it was. Well, it them was, ass whoopings I used to get probably about three minutes. That shit uh, felt like. But felt another like a thing dub. about another thing about marriage too is <laughs> when. People, the way people feel about each other change towards the end, and when you get into it too, that's why sometimes you might you might marry somebody you thought was, that was solid with you from the beginning, and y'all thought y'all was gonna make it and rock out, and then when y'all get into y'all whatever and y'all break up, you find out the duh. truth. About no, it, it ain't even that. Whatever, say you did something. I'm just using you. Don't take it offense. I'm listening, nigga. Say you did something wrong to her, mm -hmm. and you break her heart. 
Right. Nigga, that turn that turmoil and all that shit have turned her to a different person. So now when y'all go to court, the person you like, oh, we was good in the beginning. We, we, we. You the, the, I, broke her heart, and at the end, I you hear you. That's that's you know? what happened when I had to go to court. I didn't break the motherfucking heart. I caught you up in some shit. Yeah. I mean, and she was down there lying. Yeah, and what so, I'm saying is, motherfuckers changing shit. God damn it. Yeah. Damn, you gotta edit no, that one right. shit out because we, we just gonna look. We got a couple extra minutes. Okay. We back. We wasn't finished. This some false extra, alarm. Extra shit. Um, we were just talking about marriages and all that shit. Dale Curry, whatever. Uh, Keeping in the theme with NBA players doing dumb shit. We're gonna talk about PJ Washington, who I think is the most retarded motherfucker in the world. Um, <laughs> he had a baby by Brittany Renner. Uh, Brittany Renner is a known celebrity hopper. Uh, NBA player hopper, whatever you want to call it. She gets around. Oh, um, shit. She made videos years ago prior. She's also older than this nigga. Um, way older than this nigga. <sighs> but she made videos prior years around saying the easiest way to get on, get some money in your pocket, this, that, and the other was to get an athlete. She oh, had an athlete. God. She had a baby by PJ Washington. PJ Washington and her break up. He then proceeds to sign an 18-year, $43 million contract for child support for her. What happened? He signed an 18-year, $43 million contract for her for child support. So his child support is contracted in through the $43 million, whatever. I don't know how much money PJ Washington. I didn't even look up his salary, his contract. He's just a complete idiot. Um <sighs> I don't really got too much to say on the topic besides he dumb. Like, I got a mess. Okay, young fellas, if y'all watch our show, if you an athlete, aspiring rapper, it don't matter. Whatever what the you, fuck anything, you doing? anything that you doing that you not, it got it because it, it, this this is this is something for people that's that's in a field of entertainment that's making big money like that. Watch these females. You got to watch Watch the, the company female you keep, company period. that you keep around you. The company you keep, you, period. Especially the females. If There's a lot of silent and genuine females out here. And I know once you become an entertainer, mm -hmm. the circle of uh, females is the same. You're going to, like... Might be the same, but the my, agenda changed. Uh, OD, uh, 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 older dude told me that the type of women that you the you the reason why we see a lot of celebrities are people dating the same people or it'll seem like a girl might go around is because that shit is go ahead it's not it, it's not weird and this is why he told me it's not weird you only gonna date people on your level that's around you that's doing the same type of things as you you can't be a million dollar nigga a, a multi-million dollar nigga and you hanging with a bitch or you fucking with a bitch that only make a couple hundred a week is she not? She don't got the same ambition as you. You the boy? How, how the fuck? She don't what? because she would. She would. You all right? If you a multi million dollar nigga, right? Mm -hmm. That means your ambition pushed you to get to where you at, mm -hmm. right? If she's still making hundreds of dollars of money and ain't push past that, some people need a fucking push. What if you that motherfucker to help her get to the old get to your level? But you might invest your money into her. And yeah. I would, depending on what kind of person I'm she not is. Investing my money into you. I don't want to fuck with none of them celebrity assholes. Once this shit start popping, you'll see. I ain't gonna be on none of that corny ass say fake that I'm shit. High five and mother. Yo. I'm straight. I don't want none of that. One of that. I, I don't want none of that. I ain't gonna say I'm not gonna be on no corny. None shit. of it. But I, I know I we get gonna me, have I, to, I, I, the female that I'm fucking I, with now, or whatever the fuck, I get yeah. solid ass Detroit you, female. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm straight on that Hollywood I have shit, to fuck, dog. I'm, I'm not straight. saying that it's a Hollywood bitch, but you gotta. You don't have. She don't necessarily have to be a bitch that's in the industry. But you gonna fuck with somebody that's on your. You can meet a doctor, a lawyer, an entertainment broker, somebody like that. They gonna be. They gonna have the same mindset and leverage. If I hear a lot of people say that you put the push behind somebody, they might need it. But yeah, exactly. Everybody don't get a push when they make it to the top. You don't always need a push. The push could be yourself. You could be hindering yourself from doing something because you think you think you need somebody to push you to get to where you at when it's really you just need to get up and kickstart some shit off and move forward with it. That's the mind, that's what I mean by the mindset. It shouldn't always have to be somebody behind you to push you to make you do something. That I know that mindset come from like maybe sports. Or something like that. Oh, you need some motivation. Come on, get on his ass. But everybody needs motivation. I don't motivation, think everybody dog. don't. Everybody yeah, needs motivation. Can do, I think you could get up and just tell you. I'm, I'm self motivated, but sometimes yeah. I might need a push. A motherfucker might be down in the dirt or stressed out about some shit. You pick that motherfucker up and push him. 
You see, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't say that about for everybody, bro. Nah, I don't feel that, that way. Nah, I feel like you got to motivate yourself. Somebody can tell you something mm -hmm. and make you feel bad about yourself and make you think like, ooh, 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 I got to do this. But you still, in the end, have to get off your ass and do it yourself. Mm -hmm. You still got to. Can, you can sit here and give me the most motivating speech in the world about some shit for me to do. But mm -hmm. if I don't get up and go do it myself, you was just talking on deaf ears. Yeah. You got to have that self-motivation. That's what, that's what keeps but some, it up. But some people need that constant fucking but, so push. So that's saying you need somebody to hold your hand. No, it ain't holding you your hand. Next level. It ain't holding your that, hand. But that's you basically that what it is. No, it ain't holding your hand. If I, if I tell you not, Rante won't. You tell me some, you, you right now, you tell me some shit that's supposed to motivate me, right? Mm -hmm. and, then mo and it might be like, you right, I need to do that. Mm -hmm. Like I say, if I don't get up and do it, you might have motivated me, but I didn't motivate myself to get up and follow and execute the plan. Then I'm not about to come you, back and be like, Ronte, I need you to walk me through this all the way and show me how to do this and uh, and and teach me how to do it for that to motivate me to want to do it. Just from you talking to me and us having a conversation mm -hmm. and telling me that's what I need to do, you might be like, oh, you good at this, nigga, just go and do this. You need to go, go to the school, roll for this, do this, boom, 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 do that, do this shit. Because you good at this, you do this, this, that, and the other. If I don't get up and go do none of the shit you told me to do... Mm -hmm. You motivated me. You just motivated me to sit here and listen to you while you was talking. It didn't motivate me to get off my ass. I got to get up and motivate but that, myself. But that, but that ties into to fucking mental health, too. That depression. That depression shit is a motherfucker. Depression and self-doubt will keep you fucking stuck. And I'm speaking from fucking experience. But like I said, I, I motivated myself to get me to this point now. I ain't had no... I had a couple motherfuckers... To say like little shit, but at the end of the day, you're right. It does take you, but sometimes you need that extra motherfucking but everybody push. Ain't a like with like with him. Either. Where you at? Hey, my man. Everybody ain't got a hey, my mental health issue either, though. Hey, so we yo, use excuse me, light skinned guy. He got no headphones. Like you with the camera shit, right? You was bullshit, right? I wasn't really bullshit. Hold on, you you was bullshitting. I wasn't bullshit. And I get now. I don't want to say I got in your ass. Pause. You were fucking procrastinating, and I got in your ass. Hey, man, you need to do such, 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 such. What you doing now? What you doing? No, no, no. You fucking ass. What you doing now, though? You book. You be booked throughout the month, right? Sometimes you need that push. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You need that fucking but push. But if he didn't take your advice and heed to it to motivate himself, the push wouldn't have mattered. Is what I'm saying. But I'm saying this. You could have sat here and talked to you as blue in the face. If he didn't get up and, and put the effort effort in, like he said, he was slagging around being slow on what he was doing. Mm -hmm. He wasn't putting himself out like mm -hmm. that. You told him about what he was doing. He and then he took it into accountability. Jump start. Right. Yeah, but you can you could have talked to him blue in the face if he wouldn't have got up and jump started his and I st and I still was and talking shit to him. How many times we had that conversation before you said, fuck it, I'm gonna start doing it? I'm gonna use this as an example because you use it. Oh no, let me good. say something. Cause you oh, you gonna keep using your successful situations. It ain't about it. Ain't about being fucking say. successful. You using the, the successful situation of what you saying as your defense counter in Mexico. Name what? a person as your as your defense back and forth in our conversation that we have in our debate. You using the situations that happened in your life that was successful to combat what I'm saying. So I'm going to use a situation. I got some failed ones too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But look back on the self to fail. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Dog. What, the one situation? We motivated that man his whole life. Yeah. But and, I, then, but I, but... and that's one of them failed situations where if you don't take the initiative yourself... You not gone. But he get to did where you though. To. But he did. That nigga but was he making but he was shit. but he you wasn't here. He was making shoes. He made fucking shoes for Nagash. Made fucking shoes for goddamn Nike. He just hit the he just fucked with the wrong shit. And 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 it was with the wrong shit. Him being a follower basically more than anything. Always been. Yeah. But we always hey dog, you need to be your own man, get away from over there, this, that, and the other won't he won't. Even when I used to come in town, he used to tell me the shit he was doing. Mm -hmm. And I'd ride with him, we'd talk and we'd hang out. I'd be like, what the fuck you out here doing? This? He just, he he would do it. I To me, it seemed like he did a lot of things to, fit to try to satisfy us so we would be off his ass. Right. But he really wasn't into it like he wanted to, like he really should have been into it. No, he he made sure he was I Even with that leather boot shit, I he think was, he, he didn't push it the way he should have pushed it at the No, he, they got down on him. But side dog, dog suffered... From fucking depression and all types of shit. Even the shit that he got going on now. You see you know what I'm saying? As so you never know. But fuck yeah. Did you look at look at how we used to be, right? 
we'll be chilling just like this. And that nigga go left after a certain time. I was around that nigga when you was gone. You feel me? I was around him. After 9 o'clock, he turned into somebody different. I don't know what the fuck I it mean, is. I mean, but at that point, but, we was adults. So, I mean. But it was as kids, too, when we was at grandma's house. We was fucking 15, 16 years old. After a certain time, that nigga go left. Something was wrong mentally. I'm telling you. I used to be on that nigga ass. That was my little brother. And I ain't going to fault myself totally for what the fuck happened because I was on his ass and I started listening to niggas, oh, you bullying him, blah, blah, blah. And I fucking backed off. Now he fucked up. And that's oh, something that I got to live with. Blame yourself. No, I'm not blaming you myself can't, completely, can't but even... I still could have been on dog ass. Yeah, but you couldn't, you you wasn't his daddy. I w you no. was his homeboy. So I understand. No, what that, that's not I mean, my you, homeboy. You, 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 that's I, my motherfucking no, I'm less, I'm brother. Less, as growing up, that's, okay, we ain't, ain't none of us blood related. We, we family through through time, right? Right. But you can't, you couldn't be his daddy and be on his ass all the time because with with him, it would have to, it, it had to, somebody had to constantly be there to be in his ass. Kind of. Because if you wasn't on his ass all the time, it gave him time to ver off, go fuck with somebody else, then he doing some stupid shit, then it's like, dog, what the fuck? You, you, you make sense, shit. but as you look at the group of us, all of us that grew up together, you didn't have a father in the household. Mine was in and out. Silas didn't have I shit in the household. I can't say in the household because I did. Who? Chris. Was Chris. My, Chris. Was Before. My okay. So Chris wasn't when y'all met me. Chris was a year later. Chris was in my life. But you know what I mean. And, but I've. I can't say that I didn't have a father figure either because I had daddy. God damn it! I always had somebody take that was there for me. That taught me something. I always had a, a father figure like in my family. I'm put this shit. I'm, I. I even without having a father figure, we was friends, right? Mm -hmm. And we grew up as buddies, so we looked out for each other. It shouldn't have been to where we had to be like fathers to each other. It should have been like we had to be brothers. So it was. We can, all. If, yeah, if, no, I, if yeah, I was I, listen, no, if no, I was I, fucking I'm not up, saying, I, uh, if I was fucking up, I expected you to yeah, say, "Hey, no, nigga, and you I, fucking and up," that and as, that's what we did I'm with each other on that. But we could do that. But with him, it was almost like if it's twenty four hours in a day. 16 of them, you would spent, we would have to be supervision with him because he would fuck up. He would fuck up without somebody being there and saying, Why you doing the dumb shit? Or don't do that stuff, stupid shit. It would give him to think back on some shit like, Oh, I ain't got, I shouldn't do this. But without us around, right. because you got to think, bro, even, nigga, we grown with kids now. He ain't got no kids. Just say if he wasn't in there. And I just say if he. Kids. Just, just, yeah, but just say we grow with kids, we got our own family. Say you did get married to Bianca and you got to take care of your house and your family right. first. Right. And I'm, say I had my situation or I had a situation where we got to take care of our house and family first. Right. He needed somebody to take care of him even when, if we was away from that and them situations, it still needed somebody to be there for him because he would make the wrong decision regardless. Even with, the proper guidance, you still can make the wrong decision. If uh, some people need somebody to, 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 and that's what I meant by like you're holding the hand type thing. Mm -hmm. You can, with the, you can be there and motivate a motherfucker, but if they not gonna do it, get up and go do it. You gonna have to be the motherfucker to be like, come on, bro, we finna go down here and go holler at these people get this paperwork. Right. Now we finna go do this. Now we gonna go do this. And you gotta be the hey, what you doing? It come on, man, get up, and do this shit. Whoa, whoa. Nah, that was that, that ain't motivation no more. At that point, that's holding his hand. I get, I get. That's holding. I get uh, that's holding the motherfucking it. hand. You know what I'm saying? That's but, all but, I mean. But, but I, I hear you. But sometimes niggas need that shit. Yeah, but you don't need to be your hand held as a grown man. Some, you, you, some, you, some you need what motivation. I'm saying is you, you need motivation. You but living, sometimes you, you need that shit. You come and you go. By yourself, you gotta stand on your own ten on Judgment Day or anytime, anything else. You gotta learn to be that. If you know what that would have did, that would have hindered him from being his own man. If somebody held his hand all the way through, he you needed don't that know. shit. Now you look at you, him now. But yeah, but man, he needed you, that shit. You, was, and uh, and like I said, I I had time with all of y'all niggas. You understand? All personal time but with that, all of y'all. I mean, the motherfucker can't tell me shit about Silas. Yeah, but that, that and that nigga used to motivate me on some shit. It hinder, it'll hinder him as a man because, say, say something did happen for him when we was 19, 20, 21 years old. Mm -hmm. Something popped off on him, right? But you was there because right. you had to be on his ass to make sure he did not be there with you. It hindered him because it could be a time when you're not around. 
or you can't be there to help make the decision for them and they got to make it on their own. That, that, and they that. don't know how to make that decision that happened. because they're so used to another person being there telling them what to do. Hey, bro, just do this, do this, do this. Oh, yeah, yeah, do it. Then you get put in a situation where you by yourself and you present it with two, three more options, two or three options on some shit you got to do. But you don't know which options to pick because the first thing that's going to be on their mind is, damn, dog used to hear with me. He, you know what I'm saying? Tell me what I should do. Like, perfect example. You know that nigga was up 40 from the casino? Mm -mm. He was up 40. I heard this from a reliable so he came and showed niggas the shit, went back and lost that shit the next day. He's up 40. I didn't know shit about it. I was told it was 10. Dog said, bro said it was it was 40. 40 motherfucking racks. 40. And you went back and lost that shit. But see, then you was catching the fucking bus with it. Dog wouldn't rap too tight. I love my brother to death, but God that's damn. Like, and that's like <laughs> that go back to he couldn't make a decision. Like, oh, I'm, I'm saying? thinking about the shit That's like you on a you on a on a Detroit City bus with forty racks on you. You not that's one of them. Just and I knew something was no. wrong with the nigga. It's Fourteen minutes. I knew something was wrong with Buddy when he had worked his ass off at McDonald's. Right, got that motherfucker Al Wizzy, think about seven hundred bucks, and gave that motherfucker coat away for that weak ass probe. <laughs> That was worth about two hundred dollars. I knew he had a problem, dog. That I knew so was crazy. wrong with him when, when he gave him Jordans. <laughs> I knew he had a problem when he gave him, he gave some Jordans away for a couple dollars, next to nothing. Wait, wait, wait. So he gave up, he gave up an Alvazan coat for a, a brand new Alvazan coat for a, a raggedy ass four pro. Did he have a car? No, nope. it wasn't. That's that wasn't a, a dumb that, move. That's that's a good. Move. He could have spent that, that, that seven hundred on a car. That's that's it. In my opinion, that's a good move. He gave him transportation. It, it, you didn't ride it. Because he would have had an $800. I don't care. Niggas are, a car, a car. Nigga. You want to be on a, the bus with an $800 car? He was on? still on the bus with the fucking car. Yeah, after it broke down. Motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's after it broke he worked, down. No, my thing is, he worked his ass off at McDonald's. You know, we got paid every two weeks. You feel me? He worked his ass off, got that brand new Alvazan coat, had that bitch probably less than a month, and traded that bitch for a car. But you know what he probably was waiting on? He probably in his mind, he thought he was doing something right. Yeah. You could have told him, damn, so you got to work some money, get some car. You would have, he probably would have thought he did something right to him. He felt like he did something right. I'm tired of catching the bus. I can get a car for my coat. I just want this expensive ass coat. A nigga want this coat. For my car. So he felt like he did something right, car which he right did. Hell. It took him off the bus. What? The nigga, listen. Who was the your nigga first car, bought. Dante? What was who? Who's did you car? have a car when he had Who's the pros? Yeah. I had a college. I, mean, he, I had two cars. Yeah, but, actually. But you I know what he probably thought in his mind? Because you play big bro to him. I got a car now. Ronte going to be proud of me. Shit like that. You don't know how he think because he was I'm so. I'm mad as hell. I can't ask this nigga this shit right you now. Gotta, be because proud. you got to think he was so used to. And I, I, it ain't no knock against him, but he was your shadow at a point mm -hmm. where he followed. He followed. No, 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 that nigga did not he, follow I'm not going to say it was your shadow, but he looked up to you to, it, it was, Silas looked up to you like that, bro. You might not have seen it, but Silas looked up to you like that as, as more than just a big brother to him. He looked, and we can see it from the outside. You might not see it. We can we can get on fire with a couple of old boys that we grew up with. We gotta do that. And they can tell and they tell you. Silas looked up. Because it to was you. it was equal. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but he looked up to you more that shit than, crazy. Than, than the rest of us did. Cause I got my motherfucking dress. I found out I started getting interested in different clothes and shit because of that nigga. So I don't know how the fuck he followed me. Because, right, I bought clothes to this nigga. All of us know what I'm saying. And common is, sense is two different things. And I used to go on dummy missions. Clothes with this nigga and common shit. sense is two different ain't things. Follow behind you me. had common sense. <laughs> Dog didn't, so he felt, and you made to in his eyes what was the right decisions for him to to to, to duplicate or reciprocate. That's crazy. I ain't never thought about that shit. I ain't never thought because about that. Because you couldn't see it being in the front and him watching you from a. You not watching. But to me, you it was thinking. equal. That nigga taught me how to hustle. Yeah, I, yeah. Not cut but. glass and shit. I was always doing that. But then we used to be at Farmer Jack that you know, on uh, Plymouth. Nigga say, I'm show y'all niggas how to get money. Man, excuse me, man. Can I help you take it back? I said, oh. How to, how to hustle. That's a hustle. That's not, that's not that's not a bum. Because <laughs> that's you what hustling. they do now. You not begging for chain. No, them niggas <laughs> ask for fucking money. No, like the nigga at the McDonald's. You see him. Them niggas that nigga was banging the shit out that cane. Kroger out there like... 
Can I take your, you give me 50 cents to take your shit to the car? I ain't never heard nobody I, I, say that. I, I Not seen, since us. Oh, I done seen, oh, go, to 12, go to the car and go 12 mile Evergreen. Okay. It's two, three niggas that they ain't out, they ain't on the rotation. They ain't out there daily, but them niggas be out there. Hey, you give me a dollar, I'll put your groceries up in the truck for you. See, that, that, that ain't bumming. Bumming is begging. They trying to hustle to make some money. That's hustling. That's hustling. They ain't not out there begging. Don't get fucking. Bum. That was a bum's hustle first. Fuck no. Nah. Fuck no. Nah. Because we, we would have, in bum. order to in order to learn that trade, uh, asking somebody to take their groceries to the car from, you'd have had to been at the grocery store and see a older nigga do that shit and think to you. Because I know the first time I seen an older nigga do it, I thought to myself, like, I'm a kid. They not going to tell me no. They going to tell his big grown ass no. But I'm a kid. Ain't no way they gonna tell me no. I'm mad as hell. I, I really want to have this conversation with dog, and I can't. I'm really, I'm really upset. He he looked he looked up to you, bro, a lot. I I never I never I thought all of us basically piggybacked off fucking each other. At the end of the day, I ain't never looked at it like that. He looked up to you a lot, bro. Now the motherfuckers now I can see it. Because motherfuckers tell me that shit. Especially around fathers. I'm like, damn, okay, I'm out here doing, you know what I'm saying, what the fuck my uncle told me to do. So I can see that shit. You know what I'm saying? But back then, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, dog. I just be me. I don't do nothing. Even when we all went our separate ways in high school. Mm -hmm. You ain't never little Silas. That nigga used to be up at Red. You never. That nigga went to Murray Wright. That nigga used to catch the Grand River bus to you. But I used to be trying to put him up on females, too, though. It's my little brother, dog. Love that nigga. He would catch the nigga. We Damn, was, you know what? We you was might, you might be right because in the state he in now, he only asks about certain individuals, you included. He That he, shit crazy. He looked up to you, right? I ain't never thought about that shit. You just ain't never. You couldn't see it because Damn. you just didn't look at it like that. But no, it, he, he, I look my did. little brother. And I ain't saying, I, and even when we was younger, I ain't saying like he was your shadow shadow like behind you, but. I get what you said. If you was there, Silas wasn't too far. Hell down. yeah. Hell or he yeah. was on his way coming. And yeah. he went, and it wouldn't be, I could call Silas when we stayed on training. Come over here and play basketball. Come hang out. Oh, nigga wouldn't come. You pull up. I see the bike. Damn, nigga, I called you this morning to come over. Oh, Ronte called me and told me he's coming over, so I can't. Even the dumb shit when they got <laughs> caught when they got caught still on that DNC, him and Khalil and Kevin and I told them I said we off in there to the store. And my mama said I can't go to the store with no money. Them niggas. Ten niggas. minutes later, and that was the first time they let me know that Silas wasn't gonna be able to handle no police shit either. And we was young then. Mm. He got caught and he definitely told okay he told Kevin Khalil because he was the one that got caught and he got them niggas caught. He got them niggas caught. The first thing, <laughs> first thing Kevin said, the first thing Kevin said when he got back to the vet, we was about to run out the store. The silence was like, stop, they got me. And we no, he didn't. Kevin told me that, I swear on everything I love, Kevin told me that. He said, dog, we could have got away. Silas, Silas got caught. Silas got caught because Silas stole some shit and was trying to keep the you buggy. this nigga whole I name. I, I'm sorry. Hey, I'm pretty, our loyal fans know what you're talking about. God damn. He had the buggy. He said he tried to walk out with the buggy on the front Why of the his pants. Why the fuck he had a buggy and he had a sneakers? Like he was putting it up. I, they said he had it like this and he was trying to put it up and walk out like he was putting the buggy up and he got caught. Them niggas had more sneakers. They had cookies, all type of shit. Anyway. They was at DNC, you know what they went in there to get. Our normal packs, nigga. Goo cookie, fudge cookie, Snickers. Somebody just posted. I think I tagged you in that shit. Yeah, they, uh, they, they, they don't even make them bitches no more. Them bitches good. Uh, change, oh. switching topics. Unemployment is about to end for you motherfuckers on September 4th. Niggas still ain't going to work. And so all that, uh, I ain't knocking nobody, but you niggas can't be stealing and then calling other niggas broke. If you didn't get none of this free money... By now, you, if you a scammer or a street nigga, you're an idiot. Man, it was work. too much free money out here for y'all niggas. Not oh, it ain't free. And I know you niggas ain't finna go back to jobs. Uh, cause don't I, I wish y'all go back to fucking work. Because I get off work in the morning, I be wanting goddamn Coney Island. And you motherfuckers is fucking I'm going to tell you why a lot of people ain't finna go back to work. A lot of this pandemic money changed a lot of people's life where they ain't got to work no more. A lot of niggas that got this money and was smart with it. 
did something with it. They got their own businesses. A lot, they, a lot of people we, got We got a lot of entrepreneurs lot. out there. So unemployment helped a lot of people. Uh, even the PPP shit that y'all did and the SBA shit, that... Regard, it was illegal on some people's parts. They got it, but it helped a lot of people become entrepreneurs and, and start their own business. That's the reason why the workforce ain't going to be the way it was because a lot of people work for themselves now. Are they doing something where they can work for themselves? They don't have to go get a regular nine to five. Um, to you people that fuck that money up and y'all are broke now and y'all need help, um, McDonald's giving out an iPhone and they paying sixteen dollars. Wait, they giving out an iPhone? Downtown on Woodward, if you apply and you work thirty days, yeah, you get an iPhone. Regular... You get a twelve. You... Pro, a twelve, a regular twelve. Oh. When shit? Wait, How long bro, you got to work there? You gotta, you gotta be there. I can't work. I can't work with the public. Um, I can't do it. There's plenty of jobs hiring. So yeah, choke the shot. If you're not working, place. get you a job. And if you need I'm a straight. job, hey, look, I'm gonna give you. I'm, I'm gonna. Hey, look, no, look, look. My hunger so put me shoes, together. Finish line hiring. My hunger. <laughs> if y'all die, 313-701-3075. My hunger, Ashley. She worked for SMS Management. They got a job. I wasn't even joking either. They got all types no, of jobs. I, I know. I know you dead serious. Dead Get you a job. I should come up and fill out an app. But I'd be done quit that motherfucker. Well, I'd be done got fired. Motherfucker get talking to me crazy. Bitch, I'll kill you. I don't need this motherfucking job. That'd be the first thing. so many plant motherfuckers working here. You got a big tall chick named Ashley that worked there. She like six one. You'll know who she is. She taller than a motherfucker. No, I'm gonna show you a picture in a minute. Oh, yeah, no, I need a picture. This nigga steady saying goddamn name. Give a fuck. Hey, listen, I'm not discrediting you, Ashley. You're a beautiful young lady. You're tall. I, I still, at one point, I still wanted to, you know, before I got in my situation, still would have tried, but you know. That was some tall coochie. I'm together. I'm in love. That was some tall ass coochie. I'm telling you that now. That's some tall coochie. Uh, okay, so the last subject is we only got like four minutes left, and this is going to end us out for the night. Today, I was watching Trick Daddy on the internet. He you know that, Nick? He went on TV, and he was talking about the Eat a Booty Gang, and him and his niggas that eat booty, and then he turned around and said that he liked getting his booty ate out. So um, what happened now? So... <laughs> I'm not against, okay, I'm going to say this. I'm just what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say what I got to say. I'm going to get right to his chance to say what he going to say. I'm done after I say what I say. All right. Trick Daddy, you're a fucking rapper, bro. I don't give a fuck what you do in the bedroom. If you like getting your booty all tickled, lick, kiss, sucked, whatever the fuck, however a girl eat your booty. And I know it's a lot of niggas out here like that. It's a lot of you niggas out here that got a girlfriend that's freaky like that, that lick your booty hole, your nuts, your tank, all that. If that's what you into, that's what you into. Me, on the other hand, one time it took, girl, lick my tank. I felt like it was too close to my booty hole anyway. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was it. You get what I'm saying? That ain't my thing. I don't do that during sex. Me, I ain't no booty eater. Like, I just, like, come to the point to think, like, I'm one of them people that when I shit, I stand up and look in the toilet to see how bad it was because I felt it coming out my stomach. And I know what shit look like in the toilet, wet. So like coming out my ass, kind of wet. And then like, if I was sweating all day or something like that, or hooping and I or I don't know the circumstances. Like some people come out and have sex straight out the street. Don't wash the ass, get in the bed. You can't, look, why, why do you want your ass licked, bro? I don't, what's the fascination with your booty up? Like I get it, what they say. I'm good. Nope, I don't. Nope, I don't nope. want to go. To any, I'm a, the dust is too deep into. <clears throat> uh, you got less than two, less than a minute. I got less than a minute. We only had three minutes when I started. That's why I cut off myself off. Well, th well, this is the second time we don't close it out. I don't know. Ain't nobody touching my motherfucking ass. The female smack my mother smack me. If you smack me on my ass, you might as well get prepared. For a motherfucking brawl, cause we gonna goddamn fight. I argued with a bitch one time, cause I was on top hitting, and she grabbed my hip, trying to let me go a little bit. I bitch, don't touch me back there. Right? What you doing? Don't be aggressive on me like well, you, you gonna grab, me. grab the top half. Don't grab my bottom half. You can try. And then it's another thing. We got forty five seconds. What's with this? Y'all don't like to kiss shit. How do y'all have sex if you don't kiss? That's a motivation. That's the, that's the new shit now. 
Yeah, that's a motherfucker. That's the new shit See, on, I almost. That's the new shit on TikTok. Unless you're gonna blow me, and then we had sex, but I'm still gonna kiss you in the mouth during right, sex. Right, all in the mouth. That's a turn on. If you let me, I'ma spit in your mouth. I'm just sometimes I take it there and be a little. I watch a lot of spitting. Porn. Oh well, this has been episode forty-two <laughs> of the Naturally Funny Podcast. Uh, I am one of your calls. Like, subscribe, Street Mafia underscore, share, Sleezo, NFE underscore, fuck Sleazo with us, B. Ronte Jenkins. Pete Durante Jenkins on everything. Um, like, comment, subscribe.